Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're starting the uh, the tower reviews. We're doing episode one, reviewing the turret tower. Now the turret tower is one is probably my newest tower to the collection. I got it just a little ago. Yes, I did buy it. Uh, so yeah, I have. There is the default skin, which for me this is one of the coolest looking towers in the game. And also one of my favorite uh, game passes. But then there is the one I have, the XR3000 turret, which looks even cooler. But for now, we're just going to use the normal turret, although I am going to keep this on so I don't have to so play tower defense later. So let's, so the turret is a pretty good tower. It's cost 4,000 coins, which is quite a lot and more than Ranger and Excel. However, it makes up for it with its strength. Strength. It can chew through Molten's and normal bosses in normal mode. And when once you get it to level three, it really can just chew for almost anything apart from slow speeds and other things around those health. Also, a max turret can do ridiculous amounts of damage. Damage it can it can even take out a speedy boss on its own. Well, not a speedy boss, but a slow boss. Sorry. But yeah, apart from hidden bosses, a turret level one can can do heavy damage to anything. I know you might be saying that the, the turret upgrades are expensive, which is true, which is probably why it's not like as used or as light as a minigunner. But its first level does have a cheap upgrade, although the first two levels are both relatively cheap for what you have. However, if you play late game, usually you don't have this till mid or late game. Now, if you don't know, I have every I have every tower in the game, so I'm in one of the so I'm kind of in a late game scenario with a mid game level. But yeah, if you have, but yeah, you know how you can get money just by farming and getting good enough farms. Basically, means you can buy anything, including max ran, rangers and max mini and max real bases. So, with the power farms, really the turret isn't that bad. It really gets nullified. Of course, the fire rate is something to talk about. It's something like a minigunner ranger mix. With not as much fire rate of minigunner, but pretty close, and not as much damage as a ranger, but pretty close. Although it is weaker, probably weaker on Norris in both towers, it's pretty good and and is known to be able to carry through early waves if it's available. I use this tower in my normal loadout, along with mini ranger farm and mill base. That's not saying those are the best towers. Just <coughs> saying for my game play, those are the towers that are viable for me. You could have others such as I know uh, things like well, Excel say and medic and I don't know devil man soldier. A lot can be viable in this game. So yeah. And that's Turk gets an update that makes it good or bad. Is that it's in at a solid eight out of ten for a score. The price I think should be slightly less expensive for what it is. Probably the same as Ranger or Excel, but it's good nonetheless. And and it's basically a farm uh, a farm thing. You basically just farm with it. That's what it's used for. So yeah, uh, if you enjoy. This series, which because it is going to continue, the next episode I'm going to be going like this. So the next episode is going to be Commander. And yeah, if you enjoy, please like and subscribe. And yeah.